This week is the Angry Bear Underground. The Ordock Brewing Company is unveiling new ales that they've been brewing for quite some time. India Frie takes us behind the scenes. What makes us unique is what makes Marquette unique. Chris Ranga is the marketing coordinator of the Ordock Brewing Company, a Marquette native ale house known for brewing, packaging, and serving fresh beer right on the shore of Lake Superior. We feel super lucky, one, to be in the Marquette community um, and be in the Upper Peninsula and be able to like live and work here. This week is the Angry Bear Underground Festival, an annual event where Ordock releases beers that they've been brewing for months and years. For this festival, we are probably, there are going to be eight limited releases that are coming out. Uh, six of those are barrel aged. We have a, a whiskey barrel aged, and then as well as some Flemish sours and some Brett sours as well. The festival symbolizes spring because much like a big bear, youpers come out after a long winter and are ready to explore. Being able to, you know, get together with your community when the sun starts shining, you can start getting all those spring smells. That coincides with when we're releasing a lot of our barrel aged beers. Last year, the event was shut down due to COVID-19 and Ordoc had to spread the brew through home packaging. We got shut down uh, probably a month before the festival was due to start, so um, we had everything prepared, but unfortunately we're unable to hold that large gathering. We ended up just switching everything over to online sales uh, to go, and uh, as well there was a virtual component to the festival as well. This year, they've been able to reopen, but with less capacity and more guidelines to COVID. We have limited to-go options as well. Uh, we'll be open from noon till 11 every day, um, and this will go until Saturday evening. And hopefully we'll get some nice weather and, and get the people out of their caves and um, enjoying some beer. Reporting in Marquette, India Frie, Local 3 News.